As far as convenience and location, the internet has made that an, a moot point. And somebody's like, well, what if I don't have an internet connection? Well, then I guess you can't download your anime either then, huh? <laughs> You know, like, it takes an internet connection to hit the BitTorrent file, doesn't it? Um, you can order from the right stuff, in fact, and find deals on not just Funimation and ADV and Genion, but older, like, media, you know, anime works and CPM titles. Every Thursday, they have a blowout of sales. How many of you have ordered from Right Stuff? Wow, okay, well then, y'all know about Right Stuff already. Is there anywhere else online that you can order anime cheap? Any place. Amazon. Amazon. Where should you? What? Occasionally, ADV has sales. Yeah, direct from the distributors in some cases. The only problem I've had with Amazon is with some of the secondary sellers who actually sell bootlegs. Bootlegs. Really insidious. Because I've had fans of mine say, but I bought it on Amazon. On Amazon. And I go, really? And I went searching, and sure enough, in the secondary sellers, there were all sorts of people selling bootlegs. And you had to be really meticulous to see Secondary well, sellers on Amazon are not screened the same way they sell. Yeah. And Crispin has a great point. The secondary sellers are not direct, you know, Amazon's not dealing with them direct. In some cases, they had no idea they were selling bootleg merchandise. The one place that we all know better than to buy our anime online right now is where? eBay. 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 I, just out of curiosity, me and my ex went looking for copies of Aroni Kenshin on eBay. How many legal copies of Kenshin do you think I found? Uh, <laughs> I found none. I found zero. And you know that there is a legal version of Kenshin in the States. Every single version. In some cases, they were rips of the licensed DVDs. That's the hardest thing. When somebody brings us a DVD to sign, and we're like, that, I'm sorry, sweetie, that's a Hong Kong bootleg. They're like, no, your voice is on it. <laughs> it is? Yeah, yeah, it's even got the translation notes and the commentary. What? It is a direct rip of our product. And the hardest thing for me about bootlegs, and, and Crispin and I deal with it very differently, but the same message is heard. Crispin won't sign it, and when you get those at your table, you explain why you can't sign it, right? You're like, look, I can't sign this for... And most of the time, they don't know. Most yeah, of the time, they that's... To explain to them, there's no cop. I'm very sorry, I can't do it. Yeah. And what I do is I write nasty crap all over it. <laughs> I write, I'm like, I will sign this if I'm allowed to write whatever I want. And I'm like, hey, Alex, you look like a nice guy. Too bad you got ripped off. <laughs> because in most cases with bootlegs, some people don't even know what they're buying is bootleg. And it takes a few minutes. And most people that you stop and explain it to are appreciative, right? Yes, although I had one girl who turned into a quivering mess. She actually broke down and cried. And I I've had that. promised I've... to send her something through the mail to mollify her because she was so upset. Yeah, she and wouldn't I... have done that on purpose. Did, did she feel like she had offended you? No, no, no. She, she was upset, upset because I wasn't going to sign. Oh, she had, wow. waited, she had waited in line, and this is what she wanted more than anything, and how dare I not sign it. And she was so upset wow. that I ordered her to, like, just... Shut her up. I say, <laughs> look, I'll send you something else from this show. Something authorized, Sign. yeah. Yeah, I've got extra stuff at home. I'll send it and mail it to you. Will you stop crying and being upset? Will you please you stop You brought crying. me a bootleg. I'm yeah. very sorry, but I, I'm not your parents. I couldn't watch over your shoulder when you yeah. got it. Yeah, I, I would say 99% of the time, if you take five seconds to explain it, they're very appreciative. I don't think anime fans are like... Well, I'm gonna screw, how can I screw over the industry today? <laughs> Nobody does that, but unfortunately we have to do something because right now online bootleggers are rampart, I, uh, rampart, rampart, <laughs> rampart Murdoch. Um, I just turned in a company to ADV. ADV's got a licensing guy now, a long tie, and I was like, hey dude, um, they're selling all of our shows for $16 for the entire series. Well, when you've got people that are arguing that it's too expensive to buy, and you can buy the same product we sell for $16, you have to go after those guys and shut those guys down some kind of way. Yeah? Uh, you know that eBay is a bidding site, right? Yeah. No, oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> well, in some cases, you could be buying a bootleg copy for even more than you could an original copy. Yeah. In a lot of cases, you're paying more. In a lot of cases. Now the thin packs have come out. 
And there are a lot of arguments as to why people do and don't like thin packs, but thin packs are cheaper. I also, Chris is my witness, because I didn't watch Gantz until I could watch the whole thing. Well, I can buy the thin pack, and it's all there, and I can watch the whole thing. I signed a thin pack of Akihabara today. I didn't even know there was a thin pack of Akihabara today. That was today. Me. That was him. I was like, oh, Potapi. But, but you can watch... Anime cheaper if you want to find a legal a legal way to do it. Yeah, well, I just want to say because I do buy from eBay. I worked I worked at Suncoast for a while and they went and they closed. And I, I make sh they, they they'll say Region One and I have places that with people that do sell Region One stuff and it is um, Region One stuff. It's not like a Japanese box and they'll say official Region One and so they're like specifying and stuff. Yeah. So just I to say not ever buy from eBay. There is. Region one stuff. Oh no, there is. But uh, like I was saying, we went looking for legal yeah, copies. Yeah, you have to be careful. And you yeah, really we went looking, looking for legal copies. And the people that I buy from, I stick with. And so here, Crispin, Talzin, Tiffany, and I can give you a few points as to how to never, never buy a bootleg. If it's an all regions DVD, <laughs> yeah, never buy it. How about you? Which one yeah. you can think of? Well, like for example, the the one that I saw today, and and the guy was really nice, and he didn't know it was a bootleg. I, I think. Probably 98% of the time, when someone's come to me with a bootleg to sign it, they don't even yeah. know. And my heart really does go out to them because I yeah. feel like, wow, that was bad that you yeah. spent money on. How can I tell a bootleg? And well, yeah. one thing that, like, that I point out to this guy is like almost everything on the back of the package was in Chinese. <laughs> like, yeah. and, and the other thing I said is, yeah. And there's this is this product was released by ADB. Where's ADB's logo? There's no yeah. logo, the logo on this. What's another one that you can think of to look for? You don't recognize the cover art. If you yes, don't, yeah. Different cover 